Hey, how's it going? And today we're going to take a look at how you can loop through a character emote so that you can control how many times the character keeps performing a certain emote. So this would be good like if you just have a character off in the background and you want him to keep performing the same behavior repetitively. So what I have right now is just a blank island template. I've got a verse device in the scene and then I've also got a character device in the scene. I don't have this set to any character in particular, it's just the mannequin. And if we click on the verse device, you'll see we pair it to the device, to our character device. And then we can set here the number of times we want the behavior to loop. Now on the character device here, you can set it in an idle pose. I just have it in salute. And then you can choose, unfortunately there's not that many, it looks like there's 11, 11 emotes. I wish this list was longer. We could bring in custom emotes, so I'll probably do a tutorial about that later because this really can opens up a lot of possibilities for telling stories and stuff if we can bring in some custom animations that we can use. But we're just limited to these right now, so I just have it set to wave. But it has to be set on something here. This is the emote that will be performed, so you got to set that. Then with our max loop set, if I click back on the device, I'll go ahead and let's say I'll set this to 25 times I want it to happen or about 25 times and we'll go save that and then all I have to do is go start the game and you'll see him loop through these behaviors. So I have a couple print strings going just so I can keep track of everything. So you'll see this is what it looks like and he'll do it 25 times which is kind of cool. The other thing I was thinking was you could actually animate him probably to rotate too. So if you, it was like he was waving to all different kinds of people, you could have him rotate as well. But he's gonna do the whole 25, I'm not gonna show you the whole thing. Okay, so you get the gist of it. Now, if we just come over in here, let's just take a quick look at this code and I'll tell you something interesting that I discovered. This is the code, this is a creative device. You can disregard log example, that was from a previous tutorial. So I have an at editable for the character device and an at editable for the max loop, which is an integer set to initially to zero, but you can set that to as many times as you want it to loop. We need this value here, limit to increment, so that we control how many times this thing loops. Otherwise it would be an infinite loop, which would probably be not be good because the game wouldn't stop running. So we just set the limit, my character to play the emote. What I discovered was if you don't put in a sleep function, for some reason it loops through the array so fast, and um, I, I think it goes through in one frame, that it's not enough time to keep playing the emote. The emote. So you have to put a sleep in here to give the emote time to play. Otherwise it'll loop through the whole array before the emote can actually play. So this is not that responsive. It won't play every time it's called, even though it's looping through 20 times. And the only way I figured that out was by putting this looping here, because I was wondering why it was only playing once, essentially because it's looping through so fast. But if you don't put a sleep in here, it'll just play once, even though it loops 20 times. It's really interesting. So that's the code. It's pretty simple, pretty fun. So anyway, I hope you found this helpful. Take care, have a great day, and I'll talk to you next time.